Hey, your old buddy Michael Trip here playing Run 8 Train Simulator 3. And this is episode 4 of the A Line. Okay, so this is right where we left off. The engine's uh, back under AI control. And it is rolling out on its way to Jacksonville Duval Road. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is uh, I believe I fixed the problem with me getting inside of this thing. So, if I. Hold F11 and I go like this. There we go. Now we're inside. Did we get inside last time? Something I'm thinking we did. All right. So we're going to come over here. Yeah. We're going to go right through his head. Whoa. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So we are on our way, like I said, to Jacksonville Duval. Uh, Jacksonville Duval, I should say. Uh, that's the uh, AI doing that. I'm not blowing the horn for this crossing. He is. Um, but. Um, Hopefully, he's going to get there. Now, if we look at our dispatcher screen, you can see we're right here. We're going in this direction. Zoop, over this way. There's a train coming in the opposite direction while this is green over here. Uh, so, we're going to do a, a, a pass here. Uh, now, this is... You see here it says to race pond in Folkston. That's going to be on the A-line. Uh, and this is this is not it right here. This is... Uh, where are we at now? Here we are. Race pond. So, here's, here's the engine coming the other way. It's Q604. Uh, it's coming the other way. That's the one's coming. And then we're going to come over this way, go up into here to A2, which is right here. We're going to come over this way and then go to B1. You can see right here. Then we're going to go down here, past this, and over to here. And then this is the, the Jacksonville DeVos. So it's not real far. It's not exactly close either, uh, but it's not real far either. Uh, so, again, here we are right here. Here comes that train coming the other way, Q604. Uh, so, we'll watch now. Uh, how about I get out of this? Sure. There we go. Okay. Uh, and uh, there's snow on the ground. There wasn't when we left off, but now there is. So, uh, you know, in that three or four minute span, uh, snow has fallen. So we're going to get a, uh, you can see, again, you can look all around in here. Holy moly. That is one good looking fella. All right. And there's our, uh, this is our, obviously our uh, engineer right here. And over there is the guy that's not the engineer. What do you call him? Uh, you call him the conductor. Yep. He's the conductor. All right. So we're, we're just going to uh, look here for just, just a little bit and see if we can see this, uh, pass as we pass the other train I think that'll be kind of cool to look at I don't see the switch yet we got a green so that's good let's take a look at this again All right, so we got a little ways to go before we get there wait wait no, here we go okay I keep in the wrong button area that's us right there we're I-73 I, I and we're the I calling ourselves the rice road uh, the rice yard road train these cars that we uh, are having tow now were pulled out of Rice Yard because uh, we ran out of room on that track, and we got to make room. And it's the Rice Yard Road Train's turn. All right, I'm taking a drink of Coke. Get myself a refill, almost overflow, but not quite. All right. So yeah, again, all these uh, controls you can grab out of stuff. I'm using a uh, rail driver controls. The details in here are rather nice. Oh god! All right, uh, and then we got uh, you know stuff back there. <laughs> you can even read these things. No, you can't. I lied. Okay. So anywho, um, it could be a little bit before we get there. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys on pause because. Not much to look at here. I know a lot of people who run uh, uh, run eight uh, videos will show you the entire trip. I'm not going to do that, all right? Uh, I'll just show you the highlights. So I'm going to put you guys on pause until we get ready to pass that other train. Okay, so I brought you back. We are humming along here at 38 mile an hour. Going across another level crossing right here. And there's a train up ahead there. Can't see it yet unless I zoom in. Can I zoom in? Yeah, 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 you see it. 
Yeah, that's what, uh, what was it, Q604 coming the other way? Yeah, he's, uh, I think Q604 is going to uh, Waycross, where we just came from, uh, to the uh, race yard. So, uh, again, if we look on the uh, dispatcher screen, you can see he has stopped here. He's got a red. We got a green to go around him. He's short enough to fit on there, so that's good. I was a little worried about that, tell the truth, but looks like he's uh, he's going to be short enough, so that's nice. So it's a meat. It's a meat is what's going on here. Yeah, I backed off this guy a little bit. What, is that Schlitz? He's wearing a Schlitz hat. I never noticed that before. Okay, he probably don't like being, you know, face to face with us like that. So we're gonna we're gonna cut off some slack. All right, any second now. Okay, if I if I tilt my head back because I have progressive lenses, I can see the headlight of the train now without having to zoom in. More than likely, it's mixed freight. Just about everything that's been pulling into Rice Yard has been mixed freight. I don't think I got any unit trains going in there. All right. See the signal there saying the track in front of us is red. Uh, but the one to the left, the siding here is green. So the switch has been set to reverse. This is cool. All right. Get a little too excited. Here we go. Now, do they normally turn their lights off like that when they're when they're going by you, fellas? So they don't blind you? I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like mixed freight. We got a auto rack here, empty box car, grain hopper, tanker, grain hopper. You know the names of all these cars. Bob. This is one long train. A lot of auto racks. My guess is they're going to uh, uh, the big one here. What's well, no, maybe not though. Uh, oh, what's it called? It's called Rainier. Yeah, there's a big company I've been servicing here, Rainier, on local A768. I suppose we could bring those up. Uh, what if I do right control F8? There's the car names. Uh, yeah, there's a Ray right there. 768. Now that one's 775 TDSI. Now these are all going somewhere else. Again, that first number at first four letters, the A775 like right there, that is the local number. And then the next four letters slash numbers are the company that it's going to. Of course, that one only has three in it. But you get what I'm saying, right? Turn that back off. Sorry, pal. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, he's getting uncomfortable. Let's go over this way. I'm going that way. All right. Can you actually read these things? You can read these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're not going to. All right, we slowed down. Oh, I thought we were doing 38, right, when we came into this. Now we're doing 29. Let's take a look at the uh, dispatcher screen again. Almost through it now, and then we'll be on our way to Race Pond. And here is the end of the train. Okay, so we're uh, um, I'm gonna put you guys back on pause because there's uh, not much to look at here. Uh, and uh, when we come to our next sighting, uh, I'll bring this back.
All right, so we are now humming along here at 52.1 mile an hour, and we are now coming to the up to the race pond siding, as you can see here. Very nice. There's old Jeb Shack. Jeb likes uh, he likes trains. He built his he built his house right next to the track there. Uh, <clears throat> Another level crossing coming up. And they got this little piece of track right here. There's one on the other side, too. Is that... I think that's if you... I may have said this in the last video. I think you put a car in there. If there's something wrong, the defect detector picks it up. And you can't fix it on the road, so you stick it in there. So the rest of the train can keep going. So one car doesn't make the whole train late, right? All right. So let's take a look at the uh, board now. The uh, dispatcher board. You can see here we are at the race pond. That's us right there, 5442. And right now, the dispatcher's got us going on to track one into the Nan, uh, Hunt, uh, Nan Hunter. Is I Nan Hunter? Yeah, the Nan Hunter. Uh, no, not Nan. Nahuntra. Why is that so hard for me? It's the Nahuntra subdivision. And you can see it says, A, like I said before, A1 here. We're going to come up here. We're going to go to B1 here, which can take us through here. Then we got to go past. Uh, Baloney, uh, Willard, Callahan, Cali. Yes, I know it's not Baloney. I know it's not Willard. <clears throat> is it, is, a uh, Balone, Balone, Boulone, Hilliard, and uh, Callahan, and then this way into Dinsmore. Uh, so we got a little bit ways to go yet. Uh, I'm going to put you guys back on pause. I'll bring you back when we hit the, uh, when we get to Hague, uh, and we have to take the right hand turn here. All right, so we're still on the uh, race pond. Uh, we call it the uh, race pond uh, double track area. <clears throat> the siding is what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'll put you guys back on pause. And like I said, I'll bring you back when we hit uh, the next turn. And here we come up with the Hague. Now, this is not a siding uh, uh, coming up to Hague, not the Hague. It's not a hotel. Uh, we're coming up to uh, Hague. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that right, you'll you'll see it. You, you can pronounce it however you want to. I, I try to pronounce it correctly, but sometimes I get them wrong. But anyway, uh, you see here, we got this. Uh, it's going to turn into double track now. In fact, it's double track uh, all the way until um, Jacksonville, Duval, where we're headed uh, from this point on. Um, but we see we're still doing a, a good 40, 44 mile an hour. And taking a look here, you can see here, Hague. I think that's how you say that. Uh, we're going, like I said, up A1 here. So we're going to hit Folkston next. That's the next one we're going to hit. Uh, and then we got, you know, we're going to continue down this way. You can see we've got uh, Otto, our dispatcher, has cleared us all the way up to Hilliard right now. Uh, so, again, uh, we're just humming along here. Nice scenery. It's like, what do they call these? Pole pines, I think? I don't know. But, uh we're going to keep humming along here, and when we get up to the uh, Folkston, when we go onto that double track up there, I'll, I'll bring you back. So I'm just going to sit back and relax and watch other YouTubers. Uh, and you can do, you know, actually, you aren't going to have time to do anything because it's going to be a, a matter of seconds before I come back. In your world. In my world, it's going to be about, about, I don't know, I'm thinking 20, 30 minutes. So, uh, anywho, uh, I'll get back to you when we hit Folkston. I'm thinking this is Folkston we're pulling up on here. We got a flashing green, um, which I should know what that means, but I don't. But I don't have to because the uh, AI is driving. So here you go. All right, yeah, it is. See here, they got a double track here, and we got a double track here, and into the Nahuntra sub we go. There it is underneath that nice bridge there. Huh? Huh? There we go. And another level crossing. What does this uh, thing say up here? Folkston, Georgia. How about that? Isn't that nice? Some folks waiting here at the crossing signal. There's quite a few crossing signals here. Level crossings. Townage. Yeah. 
Never been to this part of the country my in my entire life. Uh, well, I've been in this part of the country, but not to Folkestone. So I don't know if any of this scenery is correct or not. I'm assuming it is. They're supposed to remodel it exactly after uh, no, the way it actually looks. All right, so let's take a look at our uh, dispatcher screen again. You can see here we are right here. We're in Folkestone, and now we're on our way to uh, uh, Bologna. B Bologna? Bologna. B I think it's called Bologna. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> so I'll bring you back when we hit Bologna. We're not to Bologna yet, but if that's how you say Bologna, but I don't have a problem with that. But anyway, uh, it's uh, this is kind of a cool bridge, a little trestle bridge here. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, now we were coming up on it shortly here. I don't see it yet. Okay, put you guys back on pause. And we've reached Bologna. Bologna. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> you'll see it right here. You can see we got a uh, high green here. And then there's a crossover track on the double track. That's all. That's all that's here. And we're out in the middle of a swamp land here or something. Very nice. Cross over this way and it crosses right back over. I don't think there's anything to see except trees out here. Yeah, I don't see any town or anything. <clears throat> Again, if we look at the map here. Uh, here we are. We actually we're past Bologna now. Now we're on our way to Hilliard, and you see another train. Uh, G eight hundred two is coming up out of uh, here, and they've therefore routed us to the top here. I'm hoping they're going to route us back down because that's it's on this side where we need to be to eventually get to Jack's Duval. But we'll have to. Uh, you know, we're we're at the hand. We're at the mercy of Otto. So hopefully he'll route us. Uh, Properly. I mean, he will if I'm saying hopefully because of the number I put on this train. I'm hoping that this is routing us to where I want to go. I'm hoping anyway. Okay, so I'll bring you back when we hit Hilliard and you'll be able to see the, uh, the pass here with this train right here. And now we're pulling into Hilliard. There's a crossover track, and the AI is slowing down a little bit here to 45. <laughs> if this were trains, I'd have slowed it down to, like, 15. The game trains, in case you don't know what I'm talking about. It looks like the AI is just going to take this uh, crossover at uh, 45. Huh? Yeah, it should be going right on this one right here to the left. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 44 mile an hour, huh? I have to remember that in trains. I always slow way down on these crossovers. I would have thought they would have here too, but not so. All righty. So, again, looking at our dispatcher screen, you can see we're in Hilliard. We're going to be doing uh, a meet right here with this train coming in the other direction. There's the crossover we just went over. So it's just a matter of getting used to reading the maps is the big challenge. Uh, in order to figure out where you're at any time. Uh, can I see the engine coming yet? I cannot. Okay. When the meet does happen, I'll bring you back. And here we are at the meet. Why are we going fast? We're still doing about 40 mile an hour, so just over 40. And you can see the train coming here. He's, he's coming up to a level crossing, it looks like. So we'll watch this meet happen. Do it so you can see the controls on the uh, on the screen there in front of us as well. I think this might be a unit train coming our way. I've gone over about maybe three 
defect detectors so far, and I've passed all three. It will call you out if you have a defect. You gotta stop the train and fix the defect. Looks like you may be going slow there. Yeah, this might be a unit train for grain of some type, huh? Whole lot of grain hoppers. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, here's that level cross when we saw him go over. Real fan at this crossing. I was going to be real happy. See a meat. And there's the end of it. Okay. So again, looking back at the dispatcher screen, we're now headed off to Callahan, hoping he's going to put us down here. <laughs> he hasn't decided yet. Have we got that far along yet? So, so, so Hillary was at uh, 617 mile marker. This is at 624. So what does that make it? About seven miles, right? Till we get to Callahan. So uh, let's get rid of this. And again, when we get to Callahan, I'll bring you back again. And seven miles later, we are now here at the Callahan crossover. And I was just looking at the dispatch screen and I'm seeing things I don't want to see. <laughs> yeah, so here's the crossover you see here. You're keeping us on this track. I was hoping he was going to put us down on this track, but he did not. Uh, so I'm starting to wonder if he's going to route us right past where I wanted to go, which means that the number I typed in here is the wrong number. Uh, someone, uh, one of my com uh, uh, people who watched the video uh, said that it, they think it's the wrong number. And I think they may now be right. All right. Come around the corner here. There we go. Here's the other crossover. Where do the other crossover? Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, dispatcher now. Yeah, see, we're way over here now. So we're going down this way. Um, yeah, so there, there's a crossover at Callahan. There's the other crossover at Callahan that we just crossed. Uh, and then we're going to Dinsmore and Jacksonville, which is right here, Dinsmore. Now, where we want to go to is down here. This is the Duval uh, Trailer on a Flat Car, or TOFC ramp. He's got to rot us down here. If he doesn't, we're going to have to stop it and just drive down there manually, which is no giant deal, but I really want to find out what code I got to type in, what unit number I got to type in in order to get him to go down there. Okay, so there we are right there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we want to be right here. Okay. All right, so uh, once we get up to this point right here, uh, I'll bring you guys back, and hopefully at that time, uh, you know, it's routing us to where I want to go. Although, I'm going to admit it to you, my hopes my hopes are, are, sh are shrinking. All right, let me put you guys on pause. And suddenly my hopes are rising once again. Now we are coming up uh, to where the crossover is and it's hard to see, but there is a red light here stopping us. So if we look at the uh, dispatcher, you can see here we're coming up. That's us right there again at 5442. It's going to stop us right here. I believe the reason they're stopping us, because see the track is all clear here, is because it wants to route us over here and down to here. But this track is occupied, as you see here, by that's why it's red, by another train. So if I move this train out of the way, 5442 should then get a route down this way. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Uh, so he should come to a stop here. Now, I don't think... And I know some some lights in real life are stop and goes. I don't think that's what's going on here. I'm hoping it's not, but we are definitely slowing down. All right, so we'll, we'll wait till we go up here and we uh, hit the... Uh, Hit the full stop. Or as they say in train talk, absolute stop. Is that what they say in train? It is. 
Now, a lot of this stuff, you know, I don't know exactly what it means. Now, this has to do with the, the pressure of the uh, the brake pressure, the reserve pressure, or something like that. Um, but this button right here is helpful. It uh, tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down. So every minute, we're slowing down by 5.2 mile an hour. We've got an industry up here on our left. There's the stop. Oh, I don't... Oh, okay, I was going to say, I don't know why he's not blowing the horn, but I guess he is. I thought we just crossed one, but some, some of the, the crossings don't require the train to signal. So that just may have been what happened. I just want to make sure he's going to come to a complete stop here and then go. I can't imagine why he wouldn't. or I mean, come to a complete stop and not go. So, again, there we are right up here. We're trying to get down to here. So, we're almost there. We're so close. Zoom in again. Yeah. Showing red the whole thing's red so it's red it's not approach medium or anything like that now if he does come to a stop here I'm going to fly over into the Jax Duvall yard and I am going to start moving trains out of the way so we can bring our train in just got to pay close attention to make sure that everything is going according to plan. I don't want to be moving trains down there and then look back and our train has now proceeded down the track and is gone. That would not make me happy. If this train pulls in here, however, if it pulls in like I, I'm hoping it's going to, that'll make me happy. Then I'll know that anytime um, I need a train to go from Waycross to Jacksonville Duval, all I got to do is type in that uh, train number, and then uh, Otto will route it, route it there automatically. So I don't have to drive down with it every time like this. That's what I want to avoid. Well, if I got to, but I would prefer not to. I'd really like that if they added, like I've said before, waypoints. Waypoints that I could, you know, put anywhere I want to and then tell a train to drive just like it does in the game Trains. Trains with a Z. Although I'm sure most people watching this are probably familiar with it. Now we're gaining speed. Uh-oh, no, we got, a, we got a green. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Where is he routing me to? He's going to route me right past... He's going to route me right where... Okay, well, there goes that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get out. Oh, there he goes. And then we're going to do this. Click on him. And then we're going to say... Uh, hold, stop and hold position. And then relinquish when it does stop. Is it slowing down? I don't think so. Uh, so we're going to stop it immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then we'll give them a chance to uh, for the uh, the fellows there to peel themselves off the windshield. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Now, so my, my dreams have been smashed. No. No, I didn't want that. Take me back. Okay. I hit the button to flash me to the back. Okay. So now, whoa, 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 here we go. Okay. I wanted to go across here and then come down into here, and it's not doing it. So here's a train that's in the way. We're going to come out here to the Jacksonville Duval yard. Here we go. Okay, I've been working this yard, and yeah, okay, we got trains galore here. All right, so... We got to get these trains, at least one of these trains. No, actually, two of both these trains got to get off because we have uh, my train coming in plus the train that's in behind these two. 
So, 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 so. Now, I forget what's happening here. Are we unloading or loading? I think we're unloading. All right, I'm going to put you guys on pause so I can figure out what's going on here. Jacksonville, Duval, I'll bring you right back in a second. Well, it'll be like a second for you. It'll be several minutes for me. All right, so I figured it out. All right, we're still at Jacksonville, Duval here. Um, now, these trains, when they come in, this one here, this one here, and the one that's way back here behind it, uh, they come in and they're tagged for none. And then they stop here. And yet the, the stuff they're carrying is normally serviced here. So I, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, but what I did was, uh, let me relinquish my current train. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is Q177. Maybe I'll have to try that number. Who knows? Uh, and uh, I went to the tagger. And what you can do is... I label them all as JDL, which is the Jacks Duval ramp. Uh, and they're all well cars, as you can see. It's a unit train, and I emptied them all. Now, you can see... Uh, oh, you can't see that way. Okay, so you come over here. You can see he's got empty wells in behind him here all the way down. So if I go like this, then I go to tagger, and then I say load them all. No, load the one. We'll try. Okay, that's fine. See that? Now it's got to load it. And, or I can do it this way here. And I can say uh, empty it. There we go. Uh, another way to do it is you see how it bounces up down and it springs like that. I don't know if you noticed that or not because you took the weight off. But anyway, uh, I can go to the tagger here and then you can go this and scroll down to the bottom, hit shift, click. Okay, no, 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 I say shift click. There we go. And then I can load them all at the same time. See that? And all of them down. Okay. Just, that's just, that's a pro tip. All right. Enough with all of that. So they, they're supposed to come in empty. Now, I know when we looked at it a second ago, they're all loaded, but I emptied them all. So I, I set them up for the correct, uh, the way they should be. And I found that out by hitting control I and you come in here. See, here's Jack's Duval ramp. You can pick whatever industry you want. There's a bunch of uh, things here. Uh, auto racks come in and they they go out as loads. So that means they had to come in as empties, right? Makes sense. Then they're going to wherever those are. I forget what those, what those mean. Some city somewhere. And they also takes piggyback flat cars. They come out. Uh, they come in empty. They go out as loads. It takes refrigerator cars. Uh, I think that's Tampa and Cincinnati is where they go out to. And they come back as empties. They come into well cars. They come out as loads. Uh, all the rest of them that don't have anything written in them means it does not uh, does not process. It. Okay, so these are ready to go now. This train here is this train going to be in the way? Yeah, it is. Train, why are you in the way? Uh, where are its uh, yeah, the well cars might even be in the way? Now these cars all over here have already been processed and they need to be shipped over to this this cut here and this cut here they need to be shipped to waycross so they're just waiting um and the train that we have coming in could actually pick these up and pull these back to waycross for us so uh we can do that but so what we need to do now is uh perhaps back him up so we can yeah that's what we're gonna do okay so we're gonna come over here can i get this train i can all right it's already running it's already on and we're just going to back it up. Now, let's, let's look at the other end again. That's got plenty of room. I don't know why it's so f pulled so far forward, but it is. Okay. So now, we're going to back this sucker up. Uh, just till he gets back to about right here. So, all right. Here we go. We got it all planned. We're going to put it in uh, reverse. Turn on the headlight. You can't really see it because it's day. Take the brake all the way off. Here we go. And let's back it up. Notch one, please. Here he goes. I can hear it cycling. I see no movement. Oh, I know why. Because the uh, handbrakes are on. There we go. Now the handbrakes are off. <laughs> that helps. You got to have all the brakes off. Just not some of them. 
These switches should all be already set. Looks like they are. So he's going to back that up. Till about right here-ish. Get him out of the way, because then my switcher engines here are going to start moving around cars. All right. Here we go. Let's ease off now on the throttle. And we'll just coast right back in there. Uh, pass this frog right here ought to do it. Put the brakes on, both the Indy and the Auto. Very nice. Now we're going to leave it running because eventually we're, we're going to kill the bell. Eventually we're going to pull this one forward uh, anyway. Uh, okay, so all the other trains are out of the way. Now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to relinquish that train just like that. And then uh, we are going to come over and we're going to grab onto this train. Now, this one should be done. Now, let's see what the uh, tagger telling me. Yeah, see, these are going to Cincinnati. Uh, they all going to Cincinnati? They're all, no, there's some going to Mon CHL. I don't know what that means. Uh, Louisiana? Is that what that means? Anyway, they're, they're, all, uh, they're all loaded, so we can move these guys forward now. Now, these guys should be stopped, right? Should not have running engines. We're going to get down on the ground. They do not. Okay, so let's turn off the tags again now. Here we go. All right. That noise you just heard, what you see up here in the purple, it just spawned another train onto the route. Fantastic, because we certainly don't have enough right now, right? So let's auto start. The engines. There should be two SD40 dash twos, or are they 42s? They are uh, GP40s. Okay, good. Great. Great identification. Is this a GP42 then, or a GP40 also is what I mean to say, yeah. GP40-2. Okay, so they're ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, uh, auto this, auto that, auto this, auto that. Okay. And now is this uh, reversed, or is this... Uh, that's normal, so that's fine. Let's turn on the light. There we go. Let's jump on it here. And let's pour. So we're going to take these cars here that need to be now leave Jacksonville Duval. We're going to put them on the other side of these over here that are loaded. Uh, so here we go. Put it. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. That's the wrong handle. I right, take the brakes off. There we go. Put it forward. Reverse your handle. Those are good sounds. And let's go. Here we go. And we... Oh, the brakes are still on. Gotta remember those hand brakes. There we go. Alright, so we're pulling forward now. now. This one's set correctly. The next one is also... It's set to reverse, so it's set correctly. Uh, okay, see our speed limit's going back down, so notch one isn't enough to get this train going. Let's put it in notch two. Come on, GPs. Let's go, huh? Sometime today. There we go. Now we're going up. Four, five. Okay, I said five. It didn't actually get the five. Five. It did now. All right. Now, there's some other switches up here we're going to have to throw that are right near the bridge. And we'll have to see what those are when we get up around the corner here a little bit more. I don't think I can see them right now, even if I zoom in. A go go gadget eyes, plus this truck. Nice, nice parking of the truck. I can't see the targets on the uh, on the switches. I don't think this is gonna be enough now because we're up to two mile an hour. So again, we're getting these off this track, so I can then. There's actually two tracks. Now you can't see them here. So then I can stick both of these trains onto those tracks there uh, onto the uh, loading tracks and then I can move up the one train that's sitting behind these two trains way back this way and then we can finally bring in our train 
It's a it's a mess. But I'm only one person, so I'm doing the best I can. What's this say? Jacksonville Terminal. Something about causing injuries on there too, I saw. Alright, here we are now. This one's reversed, that's correct. What's the next one down? I still can't see because truck in the way. Almost there. Stay on target. Okay, so these two are both uh, normal. So that's good. So we'll, we'll go straight across or do we not want to do that? I think because we want to go down this track here, right? Yeah, we want to go down this track here. Not the fire track. So, yeah, yeah, we're going to go over it. And once we cross, once the last car clears this switch right here, then we can back it on here. That's what we want. Okay. It can get confusing. Plus, when you look back and you see that, that's not real good. You should be able to lean back more. You know what I'm saying? If I face it this way, lean back and then look this way. If there's a way to do that, let me know. Also, if anyone knows... What what train symbol should I put on it to get it to come here automatically? Is there one? Maybe there's not even one that'll do it. So I've been wasting my time. All right. We're going to take the throttle off right here. We're going to slow down. Just to five so I can jump off safely. Here we go. And then we're going to run. And then we're going to take the brakes back off. And then we're going to juice it back to notch two. That's right. Speed limit here, according to my rail driver, is 10. This train's going to take a while to get clear. All right, so I'm going to put you guys on pause until we uh, get to the end of the train. Okay, so here comes the end of the train now. We are going to kill the throttle. We're going to start applying some auto brake. And then we're going to start applying some indie brake. There we go. Time this right. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. This looks good. This looks real. I mean, real good. Okay. So this way. Now we're going to run down here. This one's set correctly. This one is, yeah, set correctly. This one is not. It's normal. We're going to make it reversed. There we go. This one, we don't have any room, so it's normal. And then we're going to put it onto that one right there. Okay. Then we're going to run all the way back. Instead of having the train stop at each one of those switches, I decided to do it this way. I could have waited there, I suppose. Uh, and then when the train came by, jump on. You see, there's our EOT right there. Okay. Now we're going to throw it in reverse. We're going to release all the brakes. We're going to release all the brakes. There they go. Do I got to bail them? Nope. Okay. Now we're going to uh, go in reverse here. I can barely hear it, but I did hear it. All right. Now we're going to put it into notch two right from the get. Because notch one was not enough to move it. It looks like it went back down to zero again. There it goes. Okay. We are moving. Not very fast, but we are moving. Once it gets up to... Uh, Two mile an hour in reverse. <clears throat> we will uh, we'll put it in notch three. I moved it to notch three, and we uh, when we were pulling out of there, and we never even reached fifteen. Although the speed limit here is ten, uh, we might break the rules a little, just a little bit, a little bit. All right, these bridges are cool looking. 
I mean, I guess the graphics aren't great on it, but I mean, it 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 just looks a lot like a bridges that we have in my area. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go now. Once we get all of these cars I have now onto these tracks over here, then we're going to detach these engines, put them over here in the storage track over here. And then we're going to pull these up, shove them onto there. We'll do the same thing with this one right here. It's a process. All righty. So this is set correctly. There we go. <laughs> it's just cool. Ride past these engines and everything like this. It's awesome to look at. If loving trains is wrong, I don't want to be right. All right, now we don't want to be going too fast here. We certainly don't want to hit this, uh, this one right here at any kind of speed. Get it down to below five. Kill the throttle. Starting to slow down, but we're going to need some brake to get slow down to where we need to be. A little auto brake right now. Find a little more. Okay, that should get us under. Let's jump off. Oh, don't go down to zero. It looks like it's plummeting to zero. <laughs> it sure did. Okay, a little bit too much auto brake. So let's give it uh, a notch two again. It's all right. It's all good. I got time. I got nothing but time. Look at all these Tropicanas. Pretty little maids all in a row. That's nice. Tropicana Fruit Train. They don't run that anymore. Did you know that? Oh, I got a bail. There we go. Come on, you can do it. I think I put the EOT on here. I really shouldn't have, should I have? No. Uh, yeah, it's not going to work that way. I could actually come up here and click on, not the car, but on the uh, thing here. Uh, remove it. Oh, gosh darn it. Now close that. Okay. <laughs> All right, is he still coming backwards now? All right. Yeah. I pulled it off. I forgot that that one's... Uh... Okay, what did I do now? <laughs> it's it's connected up to the air holes, and that's just going to that's just gonna mess up everything. Okay, let's do F5, F7. There we go. Now I'll put it in reverse. Now let's continue backwards. There we go. Okay. Yeah, for, I forgot the EOT is actually patched into the air system so when you remove that it it opens up the air which then bleeds all the brakes and then it's, the train's not going to move you know stuff like that's going to happen there we go all right sooner or later it's going to get moving it is moving now see up there and i can actually see it start to move now we just want to hit it about three between three and five mile an hour I won't get going that fast, but it's I. Right. That's good enough. Very good. Okay, now we're going to move up this way. And we're going to detach it at right where? Uh, la, 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 la. Let's walk over to this side. Very dangerous. Yeah, this should be good enough right here, right? This is, there's enough track clearance between this one and this one here. We're on to this side. All right. So we're going to come in here now. 
We're going to say we can't open the coupler. So we're going to go over here and we are going to set the handbrake. Now we're going to give ourselves a little bump backwards. Got to get on the radio. Yeah, we got slack. I like that shot. Well, about removing slack, I couldn't really understand him. Is it coming? Is the wave coming? Come on, wave. See it moving away up there? Yeah, look at it. It's cascading down. Here it comes. There we go. Stop it right there now. Now we can say open the coupler. Uh, you can be the angle cock open. This one we're going to open the coupler. And we're going to close the angle cock. Now we're going to go forward. Put it reverse and forward. And here we go forward now. This is the next track we're we'll putting cars on. So this one is uh, normal. That's good. This one here has got to be put into reversal, so we're going to have to throw this switch. Very good. We're going to walk down here alongside the train. Until we get to this switch up here, which we're going to have to throw into reverse. So that the train goes down this way. See the rest of the train way up here? Way up there is the engine. So again, we're throwing these <coughs> cars here <coughs> because these all have to go back to Waycross. So we're just going to store them here on these tracks temporarily until it is time to uh, send them to Waycross. These all here are waiting for Waycross. Again, the engine we were bringing in at the beginning of the episode, uh, I-173, I think it was. It's a CSX-5442. Uh, that one can on his way back to Waycross, can grab up as many as he can handle and head back that way. So it's good. He's going to have loads in both directions. That's nice. Of course, he's also got to go to Moncrief, though. Yeah, I forgot about that. So maybe he won't do that. All right, there we go. Now let's throw it in reverse. Release the brakes. And here we go backwards. Now This is going to be a little bit of a trip. Start moving yet. We're at a dead standstill. Here coming. Here it comes. Ah, we're moving. Alrighty. Get that flange grind on there. We're across that crossover right back here. See the train bends over onto this track, so that's that's gonna add some Flange friction, as they call it. Let's put it in notch three now. Got it going fast enough. And now we're going to come over onto this track. Look at me go. It's almost like I know what I'm doing, sort of. And really, unless you are really super familiar with the way this all works, you just got to figure this all out by yourself, as I'm doing. As you can see, I still haven't figured it out completely. I got to figure it out enough that I can change things to get them to do what I want them to do. But, uh, yeah. Do they really do this in real life? I, I think so. I know there is a Jacksonville Duval, uh, Jacksonville Duval ramp where they unload and load things like this. Um... Am I using these tracks correctly here for storage? I have no idea. 
I'm making it up as I go. We got it up to 10 miles an hour. It's always a good time to take a drink. That is good. That is real good. Now these reefers are going to come out of here empty. And I don't know, I haven't been watching the time real closely here, but I think we started sometime at 12 or 13, right? So I've almost been playing for two hours and I'm going to get about an hour worth of a video out of it because of all the times I put you guys on pause. If you don't like the way I put you on pause like that, this just may not be the channel for you. Tropicana are like glaringly white. My guess would be we're not going to fit the whole train on this track. We're going to have to also put them onto this track as well. That's going to be my guess. We are nearing the speed limit. All righty. Kill the throttle. Before it seemed like if I slowed it down to seven mile an hour, it seemed to get me where I wanted to be. So I got, I'm applying auto. I'm applying indie right now. And there's seven right there. Let's jump off. Still stop short. All right, so let's uh, give it a throttle two here. Bail off the brakes again. I think that's what you call it, right? The, when the BC won't go down to zero on its own, and I press the uh, Indy brake to the right, and it shoots down to zero. Is that what you call bailing it off? All I know is I want to move it back to about... I said, like right here, if I can get it back here, maybe a car length and a half back. Well, two car lengths back. We don't work with fractions on the railroad. All right. <clears throat> That'll do. Perfect in schlag. Now we're going to do some running. In fact, let's do some flying. <clears throat> Look at that. Didn't all fit on there. Still quite a ways to go yet. Alrighty. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to land right here. This is where the next cut's going to be made right here. I don't know. Is this one far enough away? Mm, ah, I'm going to say it's too too close. I right, will go like this. Uh, we'll set the handbrake. Then we'll bump it backwards. Well. There we go. Now we'll bump it backwards. Put the throttle two again. Much slack tension. There we go. Perfect. We'll go like this. Open the coupler. Come over here. Open the coupler. Close the angle cock. Let's pull forward now. Let's 
going to be a lot lighter now, but a lot easier haul for the engines. Little GPs up front. All right. I think the switch is over on this side of the track, isn't it? We're going to pull it forward to this mark. Ready? Tight quarters. Be very careful. There we go. We can hit the brakes here. There it is. Nice. Let's throw this switch. <clears throat> and then... I'm going to have to throw us out of the video. We have come up on time. Time's up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to go like this. We're going to we're gonna get a nice overhead view here to take us out. So, again, uh, we got to take all of this yet and stick it onto these tracks over here now. Uh, first, we're going to put it on this track here, and then we'll put it on these over here. Then we're going to disconnect this, shove all of these here. We're going to disconnect this. And when we disconnect these two, we're going to step them over here to the engine uh, storage track. And then we're going to stick all these over here. And then we're going to move up our two trains. That's all going to happen, hopefully, in episode five. At least we'll be working on it episode five if we don't complete it. I hope you guys had fun. I had a blast. Uh, why don't you like? Why don't you subscribe? Uh, why don't you leave me a comment? And if you don't like the fact that, boy, you know, Sometimes this game can move slow. First of all, what are you doing here? Second of all, this just may not be the channel for you. <laughs>